What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if you please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all in today's video. I'm going to be discussing the sorry son of a bitch that goes by the name of Eat My Pills, DDoSing the MKX Tournament, that was being held by Maximilian Dude. Let's speak on it. Now, man, look, look. I don't know Maximilian Dude personally. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know any of the fighters uh, in that tournament personally. You understand what I'm saying? But with that being said, just because you don't know someone personally does not give you the right to treat them like shit or to, be, or to act like a damn fool simply because you don't know them or, ha or not have any compassion. You understand what I'm saying? With that being said, bro, I don't know the dude eat my pills, bro. I don't even know what kind of fucking online name is that. But, dude, you are you represent some of the lowest scum of the motherfucking earth, bro. I'm going to just come out and say whoever the fuck you are. See, what ended up happening was they're in, a, they're in the top eight, right? Because I was watching a lot of that tournament myself. Basically, the dude uh, eat my pills started leaking out all the fighters different addresses and shit like that then he had a message which i have i don't have on, i don't have the clip on me right now then he has then he shows up a message in the chat he goes in the chat and says hey do y'all want maximilian dude's uh address as well for those that don't know maximilian dude man maximilian dude is one of the ogs of up, of uploading uh of uploading uh content video game content fighting game content up to youtube you understand what i'm saying basically he is to he is to the fighting game community what Chris Smoove is to the 2K community. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he one of them OG pioneers. Like, the fighting game community is not what it is today on the YouTube platform, on the Twitch platform, and it's not the conglomerate it is today. The fighting game community is not what it is today without guys like Maximilian Dude. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I say, for the the best the, the best uh, way I could describe him as is if for those that play 2K, uh, Chris Smoove. Think of Chris Smoove. He, the, the godfather of uploading 2K videos maximum dude is that for fighting game video for fighting games you understand what i'm saying so with that being said bro to the son of a bitch that did that bro you are you are a fucking coward bro why would you do that this man took time out of his own day you understand what i'm saying when he didn't have to to bring back everyone back to a game everyone at one point in time loved to play you understand what i'm saying bringing back all the memories of all the tournaments bringing back all the memories of playing the game yourself and then you had to come and spoil the, the whole damn thing the whole damn thing the, I, I hate to sound like this i hate to be cliche but it's people like you that ruin it for everyone else you understand what i'm saying it's people like you that give the community a bad name you understand what I'm saying? and not just the mk community but the fight but 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 the video game community as a whole any community you understand what I'm saying? Because when, when you have a bad apple like that, when you have a bad egg like that, it ruins the entire batch. It ruins the entire dozen. You understand what I'm saying? So with that being said, with that being said, bro, you are a fucking coward, bro. How fucking dare you? Come on, bro. You ain't got nothing else to do with your day other than jerk off and fuck up with somebody else than built with their own hard work. Come on, bro. And then I find it funny too. You one of them coward ass bitches. That'll sit there and try to put everybody else's life on display. But then when somebody come and try to come at you about your personal business, you go run and hide like the little punk ass bitch you are. I can't stand people like you, bro. I can't stand a fucking coward. I am allergic to cowards and stupid motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? I'm allergic to it. I got a severe reaction, a, a severe allergic reaction to motherfuckers like you. They make me violent. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's no play. You have a choice to be a stupid, ignorant careless reckless inconsiderate son of a bitch you have a choice to do that and then you choose to do that to people that ain't done a damn thing to you bro come on man grow a set of nuts and grow the fuck up man this start this thing had nothing to do with you and then leave it to some bitches like you to ruin a good thing this is why people can't have nice shit because of people like you I, I I don't understand, bro. What what is the thought process with that? Why would you do that? What do you gain by doing that? And then you do shit like that, and then when somebody want to see you in the street, somebody recognize you in the street and want to do something to you, you want to go run and hide to the police. It's the shit I'm talking about, man. People like you ruin everything. 
So with that being said, in the closing of this video, bro, don't be like that son of a bitch, bro. Don't run. When you see something good going on, bro, even if you don't like it, if you don't like it, take your ass somewhere else. You understand what I'm saying? Look the other way. You understand what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I'll never say them by name because that's, that, that's not how I'm going to do my channel. There are plenty of motherfucking uh, content creators I can't fucking stand. You understand what I'm saying? I can't fucking stand. But I'm not going to hate on their hard work. I'm not going to hate on the audience they got. I'm not going to hate on their shit. Hell, when I see some shit on YouTube, I don't, I don't even leave a dislike. I just don't watch it no more. Scroll right past that shit. You understand what I'm saying? So come on with that shit, bro. C come on, man. Come on with that. Come on with that. And then you couldn't do And then you decide to do it to one of the nicer fucking dudes in the community, man. One of the people that helped build the fucking platform that we get to be on today. Come on with that, bro. And then there's some bitches like you. You'll do that, feel no remorse, and then go do it to the next person, bro. C come on, man. That, that, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but people like you shouldn't exist. I, I, I'm, I'm just being honest. But that's just my opinion, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about the MKX tournament being DDoSed by the son of a bitch named Eat My Pills. Uh, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about the situation, man. Uh, no death threats. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, with that being said, man, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, more good content. Now, hashtag that enough said. Don't be like that guy, bro. Don't be like that guy. Let people be great, man. If it ain't you, it just ain't your time. Don't hate on the son bitch that it is time for, man. I'm out.